Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay. And I'm doing a video on my must-haves with a newborn baby. So first thing is the Outlet Smart Sock. That is truly a lifesaver. You can get the sock or you can get it with the camera, the monitor. That should be your number one baby item. All your friends and family have to come together to get you that one thing. That should be your one thing because I can sleep at night with it. I can go, I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm just super paranoid. I can go leave him in his bed and go out here and do dishes and not worry. It checks his heart rate and it also checks his oxygen levels and it notifies you if they drop. If you misplace the sock, it will alert because it's not getting the correct reading. And I mean, it flashes, it is a notification, It the light in his room turns red. They've also compared it. People who have had to go to the hospital because their kids oxygen oxygen or uh, heart rate dropped it is just as good as a hospital monitor so it's a sock that wraps around his foot it's good for up to a year and then the camera is good for up to three years i mean it's a camera so you can use it as long as you want but okay so i'm gonna do a quick walk through the app so you can see what it looks like and okay so that's the camera, that's the view, What? how far out it goes. It connects on the wall and it looks down. Um, unfortunately, I could not put my bassinet next to my bed because I didn't have an area where I can connect the camera to the bassinet. So he's on the side. Um, right now he's wiggling, so once he's done, while he's moving and it's not showing me his reading, I'm gonna go to history and it's gonna show me his nighttime sleep. So it tells me his total sleep, the quality of sleep, um, how many times he woke up in the middle of the night, and his longest sleep segment, which I love and I like to compare it to the days and um, check them out. And then I can go to graphs, and it shows me. So right here, all this space is because I didn't have the camera on, but if you have the camera on, um, it looks like this. So he went to bed yesterday at 11.56. Tells me that he woke up at 4.05, that's when I fed him. He went back to bed, woke up again at 6.30. So it's cool. Um, it has the heart rate and oxygen level uh, graphs as well. And then so the dark blue means it's a deep sleep. The light blue means um, a light sleep. And then obviously orange means he's awake. And then they have the guide, so right now he is two months and three weeks old, and it tells you kind of what he should be doing, um, what he's learning, and I mean, I just think this app, so, okay, so right now, it, he's moving again, but it shows that he is, his heart rate's 134, and his oxygen level's at 98%, so I am happy mama. Um... When his heart levels and his oxygen rates, they drop, it has a little base that lights up and it blinks and it makes like an alarming noise. Also, I get notification on my phone, um, letting me know that something bad's been detected. I have had that happen because I put the sock on incorrectly and it didn't get a correct reading, so it went off. And it's loud and it does its job and I was very, aware that something is up i also went to new york and i tried to bring it with me but it wouldn't connect to the wi-fi in the hotel so i didn't have it and i could not sleep i was waking up every 10 seconds checking his breathing i mean i i think for a vacation that probably was a horrible vacation because i couldn't sleep and i couldn't wait to get back home and hook him back up to his sock so i can sleep another cool thing about the app is that you can let family and friends have access to it so they put in your information and they get to see everything that you see and my mom's living in New York, so she logs on all the time, I can tell, and see that she's watching him. And I think that's really cool for grandparents and people that you're close with that aren't able to see him all the time. My mom tells me how much she enjoys waking up and looking at him in the morning, so I love that. The only downside to the camera is that the audible is very strong. So if I'm, I'm in a one bedroom apartment, so I'm sure if I, when I move out and I get something bigger, it'll go away. But if you're in a smaller space like me and I'm in my kitchen, you can hear me fart. You can hear me doing my dishes. You can hear me laugh and chuckle. So I think privacy wise, 
that's the only thing I don't like. But it does show me when it's red that somebody's on, so I kind of like calm down and um, don't poop or pee. <laughs> but uh, that is the best thing ever for a first time, for a mom, any mom. If it's your 10th kid, you should get that fucking app, the smart sock. If you have to create an OnlyFans to get this camera, to get the smart sock, I would do it. Okay, so the next thing that I love is Hello Bello diapers. It's a monthly subscription. On the app, I'll show you. They're set to your house. So let's do like the start bundling. You pick your baby's weight. Um, I would go if he's like 12 pounds, I think it's like one's like 14 to 24 pounds, so obviously get the one higher. Um, you pick your style. So I know that you just get a diaper and you throw them away, but you throw all diapers away, so why not have them look cute while they're in them? So it's like this one I have is here. Little monsters. He right now is wearing candy corn diapers. Um, I've used Pampers, I've used Huggies. These just hold a lot better. I feel like I smell like, I don't know, maybe it's me, but I feel like I smell chemical. And now he's at the stage where they have nighttime diapers, so they also tell you they request, they suggest you get two packs. The subscription also comes with four packs of wipes. I use wipes for everything, so uh, I think I ran out of them a little bit more than the four that they give you, so you can also obviously order more if you're like me. 99.9% .9 water wipes. I, with using these diapers and using these wipes, he has yet to have a diaper rash. So, I think that's just something. The diapers are plant-based, uh, no parabens, no dyes, artificial fragrances. Um, he rarely will get a leak, and that's because I didn't wipe his ass in time. But they're sturdy and they hold well, and even without the nighttime ones, he's still been able to sleep through the night without me having to change them. Highly recommend Hello Bello. I have another subscription to Love Every and it's a toy subscription. I am so particular about things and I'm like, and I'm also so in my head that I'm like, what toy am I giving him? Is it good for him? Is it gonna help him? Or do I get a car toy? This toy subscription box that comes every two months. So the box that I'm getting next is three to four months. Comes with a pamphlet, tells you how to use the toys what toys to use at what stage. Quality is amazing and it's all learning toys. So everything that I give him, I know that in some little way he's learning, whether it be the coloring, whether it be this next box has a bunch of stuff for his mouth. So it's a bunch of tooting toys. I have some of them put away, but the first month's box came with these visual cards. So he starts off with the smaller one first and then it goes to the bigger one, came with these are perfect for a tummy time. It's a holder for the cards and you just place them in front of him and he, when I put the cards in front of him, he's like, so I know he's entertained by them. Came with a little book, a little visuals book. And it tells you at this stage what babies are into, what they should be playing with. So I know I'm getting his mind stimulated by whatever I'm giving him. And what's also cool about the box is that just because he's outgrown his three to four month box, he can still use that box when he's eight months old. So all the toys you can still use, it's not like you have to throw them away after he's outgrown them. They last. Okay, so another thing is the Kamatamo, I think that's how you say it bottles they're silicone bottles and i have not i do not have to look for any other bottle gave him this and he was on it so maybe it's because the nip i think the nipples really really well the infant ones five ounces and the bigger ones go up to eight ounces they also come with different nipples so it has like zero to three months for a slow pull and then as he gets older you change the nipples and it comes out to more of his age standard. They fit into my bottle warmer. They fit perfectly into my, I have a Breeza bottle sterilizer, which is awesome also, by the way. It fits everything and it's super cool and compact looking on my counter. Every time somebody comes in, they're like, what's that? I'm like, it's a baby sterilizer. Go get you a baby. I love those bottles. They also look cute too. I mean, everyone's like, oh, Gaga, what's that? Yeah, it's a baby, it's not a baby bottle. Okay, for his body, I use PRC. It is scented, it's lavender and grapefruit. It does works well on his skin and he's actually a very dry baby. So I also use Aquaphor. 
to try and help with the dryness. I live in Florida and it is hotter than the devil's dick. I try to make sure that I put sunscreen lotion on him when we go for walks. I also got this from Hello Bello. They have other stuff too that you, that you can add to your subscription. So I got sunscreen. Also for his walks, a stroller fan is super needed. Keep him cool. I like that. Then for his body soap, I use Baby Ganic. This is a great baby soap. It's for hair and body and it has no scent. It is not allergenic and everything, but it lasts forever. I'm still using the first bottle and I wash him every other day. So my baby does not like pacifiers. In the beginning, I tried to not use them so he was a little bit older. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna use him if he doesn't, if he's fine without him, why get him started on it? And then I read more and they were like, the whole SIDS thing and he started putting his hands to his mouth and sucking. And I'm like, okay, let me try it. Let me do pacifiers now. So this is about a month ago. And he would just throw it out of his mouth. I bought different types of pacifiers. They did not work. But my friend told me about this, this little mushroom. I will, I think it's me and Bella. I'll pop it up, pop the link down below of where to get this on Amazon at six bucks. So what they do is they hold it and then they suck these little antennas and it's great for breastfeeding moms because he loves it and it's also teaching him to put it in his mouth. So it's three months and older, but I gave it to him at two months and about two weeks ago, he was learning to, when he wants it, he puts it in his mouth and I bought three of them. These are literally amazing. I'm so glad I found out about those. For when he's sleeping, I have him in a, like I said, a bassinet that has, you know, no blankets, no nothing, no nothing, no nothing. I was just like, I know it can't be that comfortable. I mean, does he care? No, but in my head, I'm like, so I got this and it also, I feel like, keeps him in it. So when you, like when I was in New York and I didn't really have anything to put him in, I laid him on this and he never tumbled over and he stays right in place and it has this little spot for his head and it's just, I know it's more comfortable. I know it is. So I got this uh, on a Facebook ad. It, it took forever to come. So I'm like, I think I got scammed, but like five months later, it finally came in. I'm being dramatic. Like a month or so later, it finally came in. 30 bucks, 40 bucks for this thing. Right now he's in his little baby swing that doesn't swing, it's a bouncer. So um, it's a pretty generic one, but it doesn't move or anything, but he's fine and he likes it. I'll bring him over real quick. So this is baby Kari. <laughs> oh, oh. His shirt says, no box given. Right? Is that right? Say hi, baby. Say hi. And then this is his smart sock. <clears throat> Thanks for watching our video. I hope you, um, I'll link all the stuff that I got, especially Amazon stuff. Um, on the bottom of this video and put in the comments whatever you use that you like that I should know about and I'll definitely check them out hopefully this is helpful to some of you guys and oh last but not least definitely not least get your favorite bottle of wine and have a nice glass of wine and watch a movie relax the end of the day we have a lot going on and we're constantly busy i'm you know doing this by myself i think we have to snap out of it sometimes and realize that we're human too and maybe it's not getting a bottle of wine maybe it's reading your favorite book or going for a walk going for a run make sure you set aside time in your day for yourself because out of everything that i've been dealing with it's very easy to get lost we're gonna go enjoy the rest of our day hope you do too